To compete with the best in sport often takes a burning desire to overcome adversity, and Muhammad Aiden certainly fits the bill. For Aiden of Adams State, life has never been about wanting, it's been about needing. Needing to escape his native Somalia after the murder of his father during civil war. Needing to learn English despite never having attended school until arriving in the States with his family. Needing to support that family by working two jobs while running track and attending college full time. Needing always to strive for more. I'm afraid to know being a failure, you know, it's an opportunity, an opportunity where most people in my country don't have it. I don't want to just waste that, you know, that's another thing that just drives me. He's gone through so much tragedy and adversity in his life, and for a kid like that to start accomplishing greatness, I, I think it really sets an example to the rest of the kids on the team that there's no reason they shouldn't do a good job. The night before the 1500 meter finals, Aiden's mother and several family members greet him at the team hotel. It's the first time they've seen him since Christmas. Perhaps another gift would await them the next day. Ranked among the pre-race favorites, Aiden runs strong, but his kick isn't quite as strong as he'd like. Despite the letdown, his spirit, as always, proves to be that of a winner. Second place. I was ranked second in the nation, and I got second. So that's good. My, my mom should be proud of that.